Um, Councillor, could I just say before we, we go forward, you do have a number of questions today, and I just would like to, to say before we start, you will be moving on to a supplementary question. It is a supplementary, it is a question. It's not a deba debate, and it's not an argument. So if we could just set the ground rules out before we start, Councillor, I think it would be most helpful this afternoon. Uh, bearing in mind, I do have a list going right back to January, uh, the number of questions you've asked on this issue, they are extensive and yeah. they have taken up considerable councillors' time. So I'm just going to say before you start, otherwise I, I will stop you, councillor. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Well, then, at this point, I'll make a point of order. Um, Clearly, under the constitution of this council, as the solicitor will um, agree, I have a right to ask any questions at a uh, cabinet sorry, or a council meeting. I think meeting. you misunderstood what I said. No, I'm not sure. I'm making sorry, a point of Council order, Madam Chair. I'm no. making a point of order. I have a right under this constitution to ask questions, and I have asked those to be told in writing and by yourself Can that I should not, and that you have taken officer time to compile the list instead of answering the questions is totally unacceptable. Councillor, I'm going to stop you there. I think I made it very clear at the beginning. You are entitled to a supplementary question. I think the point I was making to you, Councillor, quite clearly, because we have you have been many times, and that's absolutely your right to do so. What I was making very clear from the beginning, so that we don't have a repetition where, it, where possibly it may stray into a disagreement and an argument, because that's not what supplementary questions are for, it was to clear the groundwork, Councillor, which I'm sure you will agree is absolutely appropriate. Now, would you like to ask your question, Councillor? Thank you. Can I complete my point of order, which is that Councillor Theobald's written response I'm to my sorry, questions Councillor. is that he has not answered the questions. And I would just like clarification from the solicitor, Madam Chair, as to say, is that actually proper? Because, as you say, I have a right to ask these questions, and yet Councillor Theobald is basically saying, because I've asked lots before, that right no longer exists. So if the solicitor could clarify. Certainly, Councillor. It is within the, uh, the uh, council's standing orders that apply to the cabinet for you to um, be able to ask questions. The cabinet member is not obliged to answer questions. He is perfectly entitled under paragraph 9.5 of the procedures to decline to answer the, the, uh, uh, the question, providing a written reason for, for that decision is given. And you have been given a, a written reason for, uh, of uh, uh, why Councillor Theobald did not feel uh, it would be appropriate to answer your question, so it was perfectly within his right to do so, uh, and, and therefore what the uh, uh, Chairman said was in accordance with our standing orders. Thank you. Best place, Thank you. Um, my supplementary to question A um, is, is Councillor Theobald aware of the problems caused by the new stoppers being welded onto the bins in that they prevent a residence from um, emptying the rubbish because they have to use one arm to hold it open all the time which makes it very difficult for people of less upper body strength. The bin flat no longer stays open so they're trying to hold it and put a bag in at the same time. Is he aware of that and what will he do about it? Thank you Councillor. Councillor Theobald. I am aware of um, certain opinions on those bins and um, we are looking at them. Thank you Councillor oh, Theobald. Uh, Councillor Kitkat, um, you have another supplementary. Chair. Yes, uh, to question um, B. Um, my question to Councillor Theobald is, um, will he apologise for the poor design of the bins and accept that all this remedial work of welding metal on and such like would have been avoided if residents had been properly consulted on the bin designs? Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Theobald. over the last nine months on occasions for um, bins not being collected and such like, but on this occasion, no. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Kitkat. Thank you, Madam Chair. With regards to question C, um, my supplementary is, does Councillor Theobald agree that it's an absolute priority to boost recycling rates in the city and that in common or bin areas, a communications campaign alone won't be enough to achieve this? Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Theobald. No, I wouldn't agree. Thank you, Councillor Theobald. Councillor Kitkat. I'm sorry, Councillor. I just need to go through Councillor... No, it's, it's Councillor Kitkat's. Yes. Yeah. 
No. <laughs> It was, no, it, was, it was a good try, Councillor. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Councillor Ki I'm sure Councillor Kitkat does have a supplementary. Though. Sure <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Madam Chair. Um, question uh, D. Um, thank you, Councillor Smith, for your response, which I very much appreciated and in contrast to your co colleague. Um, I just wondered, are yeah, all sorry, the bookings... Councillor, could I just stop you? We, you? You had four D. You haven't done the last question to Councillor Theobald. Oh. Thank you. You're very kind. Um, you're far too think, kind, I in fact. I was being very fair, Councillor. I wouldn't let you miss a supplementary. Well, um, <laughs> um, my supplementary, then, is um, if Councillor Theobald is unable to answer that, does that mean he does not know those figures? Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Theobald. Uh, thank you, Councillor. Thank you, Councillor. So that's your... Sorry, Councillor. I don't think Councillor Kickstack quite heard your response. And my question to you is no. Your answer. Can we get English here? Um, is the answer no, he's not answering, or no, Councilor he doesn't Kitt, know? I think probably the easiest way, just for clarification, if you would just like to repeat your question and Councillor Theobald will My question will is, answer. is the reason that Councillor Theobald is not answering this question in regards to the recycling waste tonnages because he doesn't know those figures? Thank you, Councillor. Uh, Councillor uh, Kitkat, you now have two. So, sorry, Councillor, because Councillor Kitkat has the right, so I need to go on. Uh, Councillor Kitkat, you now have two uh, more supplementary questions to Councillor David Smith. So, would you like to ask your first? Thank you very much, Madam Thank Chair. You. Too kind. Um, Thank you for your responses. Um, I wonder whether we're making best uses of resources of the meeting rooms, and I just wonder if you could tell me if the bookings um, at that 75% rate are all at the same rate of charge, or if we vary it according to who the client is. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Smith. Yes, um, to start with, 75% of bookings is fantastic, and I'm sure every venue in the city, even the Metropole and everyone's nationally, would love, it, love a 75% capacity. Yes, there are varied rates of bookings. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, Councillor Kitkat. Thank you. In response to question F, um, I wonder if Councillor Smith really feels that the shop is justified, um, given the odd selection of, of titles there. Would he agree with me that it would be better to have more books on loan in the library and instead use the shop space for the benefit of the local community? Sorry. I think the space is used for the community. It's a fantastic area. People go in there, buy all books, buy other things there, souvenirs and everything else for the ones. We've got a shop in the museum. We've got a shop in the Royal Presbyterian, And it's part of the service we give to not only the local people, but visitors alike. And I think that the list we've got there is fantastic in there. And, you know, it's a pity I couldn't have read them all out to everybody, but I'm sure everyone's read them, and it's a fantastic list of things we've got there. And I'm a great believer, and I'm proud of our Jubilee Library, the, the fifth best one in this country, and what we're doing for it. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Smith. And thank you, Councillor Kemble. Chair, just a uh, uh, point of clarification. Is it permitted for a member of cabinet to ask Councillor Kitkat a question? Um, no. No, is the answer. Thank you. Councillor Kitkat, thank you very much. Thank you. Councillor Hawkes. I've been advised that I can have a, a second supplementary. Was it you were waiting until um, the councillor had finished his questions? A second there supplementary? No, no, there is no provision. In, in the standing orders? No, I think. Sorry. The, the, the standing orders that apply to full council give other councillors uh, a, a supplementary, the right to, to ask a second supplementary question. Standing orders also say that those rules apply to cabinet. However, it says in their application to cabinet, they will be applied flexibly and informally at the discretion of the chair. Because all members are not present, the way it has been applied uh, up to now has been not to allow uh, second supplementary question from another councillor. Therefore, in, in, the light, in the light of that uh, custom and practice, uh, my advice to you would be there is no supplement, second supplementary question from another councillor. Thank, Thank you. you. So Thank you're you. saying the chair is, is saying no. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. 